pure British ingenuity. Good morning, everybody. So nice to have you back to get started this morning. We're picking peas for the farm market. <laughs> Finished picking peas. We got two half bushel of sugar snap peas. We got a half bushel of snow peas that Joel's carrying. We're taking them back to the farm market. It's 4th of July weekend, so we're really busy. We want to get these back there and get them selling. I know what we're working on. My dad's bringing the truck up. We've got to unload the van. This morning I got up at like 4.30 and I went and picked up some stuff for irrigating the peppers and tomatoes. Did you get an Arizona tea this morning? Yeah, I did. You should have heard some people on the phone when I called them and told them I needed 900 pounds of filter sand and 300 pounds of filter gravel. They thought I was crazy. They're asking me, they're like, how big's your pool? I'm like, well, we need that filter full. What we're doing with this filter is we're taking it back, filling it with the gravel, then filling it with the sand, and we're going to hook our pipes up. And this is going to be our filter for our tomatoes, peppers, and all our other vegetables on plastic. We have our filter. We have our bags of sand, bags of gravel, and we have pipe. And then all of this is fittings and other things that we need. But yeah, people thought I was crazy when I needed that much filter sand. I'm a vegetable farmer. As you saw earlier, we were working on the pump. We got that running. We just had a little problem with the fuel line. Then it started right up. The truck's all ready to go. Pump's all ready to go. And I think we're ready to go. You ready to go? Find out. I'm ready to go. We're back at the tomatoes. We've decided where we want to put our filter. Now we just need to get a pallet to put it down so we can put the filter on top. So if we ever need to move it. Sorry, I'm taking you home. Oh, you're okay. You don't want to have your filter on the ground because if you do have to move it for some reason, ooh, it's almost impossible. They get heavy, especially when that sand gets wet. Threw the pallet on the ground over there. I don't know if that's where dad wants it, but that's where I threw it. I don't know about you, but I don't think these tomatoes were hurting for water. Look at this wet spot. Isn't it amazing how nothing grew there? But I don't think it's been hurting. The tomatoes, they look amazing. There's blossoms coming all over the place. Getting excited for some salsa. We got the weeds kicked out of the way. Joel is testing the sturdiness. All we have to do is put this filter on that pallet. Oh. There's nobody in there. Yeah. We're gonna put Daniel in there. <gasps> no. <laughs> While dad works on the filter, Joel and I are gonna take this pump down to the pond. We'll show you where we're gonna be pumping the water from. So we've been farming weeds for about uh, well, I've been alive, what's that, it, was it, like 24 years? years? I thought yeah. it was 300 years. Our like, family oh. has been farming for six generations, and we always raise the best weeds. Like, look at that. So if you want uh, some advice, give me a call. I'll actually email me, and I'll let you know how we grow such nice weeds, and you guys can grow weeds just like us, too. Check out our iron defenses. Horses can't get through that. This fence couldn't stop a one-legged horse with its head on the ground. There goes a ducky. Oh, it's so pretty. This guy's destroying our crop. Look at this. He doesn't understand how hard I worked on growing them weeds. A shame. Joel went back and got the suction hose. Uh, we're gonna bleed this pipe. So Joel and I are gonna go down and turn on the uh, pump and we're gonna try and get all the bad stuff cleaned out of it. We don't want it clogging up our uh, filters or anything like that. Yeah, I wanna show you quick why we have to clean this out. Look at that, ooh, I don't know if you can see, that looks yummy. No. It feels even better, guys. Think of Jello on a hot summer day mixed with sludge. It's great. The water's starting to clean up really nice. Now look at these tomatoes. They're getting a nice drink there. You guys saw right where the pipe ended, right over there. Uh, what we have to do 
is bring it over and hook it into here. The water will go in here, it'll be filtered, and then it comes out this pipe right here. We're gonna get our lunch, and then this afternoon we're gonna try and hook up some more of that irrigation pipe. Hopefully we can get it finished today. We just got back from lunch. It was delicious, we had a nice meal. Uh, and now I have to put some glue on these plastic fittings. Ooh, shows the brain cells. We have the water that comes up from the pond, so it's gonna come that way along this blue pipe. It's gonna come from that pipe, it's gonna go up into here, it's gonna go into the filter. The filter's gonna do its business, take out all the impurities, then it's gonna bring it back out, this pipe right here, and we're gonna put an elbow on there or something else, and we'll be able to point it any direction we want. Over there to that plastic, or down along here. Unless this is your first time watching us, you know what's going on here. We have the mulch, the uh, plastic down, and we have the drip lines underneath, as you can see right here. Uh, you probably can't tell from the camera, but I can see that these tomatoes and peppers, they need some water. Uh, we mentioned earlier in the video, we're two, three inches below what we need. So that's not good. Uh, but the tomatoes and peppers, they have been growing really nice. We've gotten water, just not enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a plug all the way down at that end of the pipe. And we're gonna be able to run the water through this pipe. And we'll hook these drip lines to this pipe it's going to be able to water each one of these rows of plastic individually and we'll be able to get our plants the water we need. All we have to do yet is just hook up the filter and we're good to go. That's a close one. You look in here, there's supposed to be a little rubber seal around that part of the pipe. And we didn't have one in, so we got to find one and put one in there. Or else, when we start this thing up, water will be shooting all over the place. It's amazing what a little piece will do, right? Daniel started the pump. Yep. We got big chunky over here, filled up with enough water, so now we have to dump the gravel in. There's two different types of uh, sand we have to put in. There's the grittier stuff, which is what they call the gravel. So that needs to go on the bottom, and then we put the sand on top. There you go. Look at that. Look, guys, we're getting little tomatoes. They're growing. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna be picking in no time. Have... Walking down to put a connector on the pipe to connect it from three inch to two inch, and wouldn't you know it, look who we found sleeping on the job. Get up, Jake. Apparently, Dad was spraying this morning, and... You stay on the job, Jake. Keep them birds away. It's so hot. You can see the water coming out the end. It looks nice and clear. It's pouring right into my wheat though. That's what I'm upset about. But the water coming out is nice and clear. That's really good. That means the filter is doing its job. And probably the water down in the pond is cleared up. We took the end and we put it in a bucket. Uh, not really a bucket, a crate. To keep it from sucking any dirt off the bottom. So that should help us uh, clear up the water quite a bit. We're going to put a plug in this end to stop it from shooting out. And I think dad's getting some pieces to plug that up. There we go. Should hold it in. I'll walk. It's okay. It's okay. I I'll walk. Getting ready to hook our pipes up to the drip line. And for the tomatoes, we want to use this type of connector because it has the valve on top. When our tomatoes start producing red tomatoes, uh, when they're starting to mature, they don't want the water. It's not good for them. Uh, late tomatoes will split because there's too much water. So when they start to ripen, probably when half the plant is red, we want to stop watering because if we keep watering, we'll cause our mature tomatoes to split and we don't want to do that especially when we have acres and acres of tomatoes planted here so my job right now is to take the end and you see down there and boop i'm gonna walk down through and drop them right here just to make sure we have enough for our tomatoes and then we'll be able to start the peppers we have a special way of hooking up these drip lines so we have each of these connectors 
right here. And what we'll do is plug them into this pipe. And now my dad's gonna show you how we get into the There you go, then we take this little connector. I didn't have it closed up for you. Can you believe that? Yep. <laughs> and you plug it in. There you go. And then I'll come through behind my dad with the knife and I'll slice this and then hook it right in. So with the use of this drill, some connectors, Jake, my dad, and Daniel, we were able to get all these water lines hooked up. And now we'll be able to turn the pump on and we'll be able to water all of these plants out here, all these tomatoes and peppers. But there is still one more thing we have to do before we're all done with this job. I'm on the opposite end now from where we were working and my job over here is to see where the water is coming out. So for example, so my job so we're not just wasting water and to keep the pressure is I have to tie a knot in this plastic so that the water keeps up its pressure and we're not, not just wasting it. Got a little wet, but that's okay. I think every line is running. I'm just double checking. Is every line running? Oh, he didn't check. You're good, you're good. Just checking every line here, everything looks good. This is the only one that doesn't have water coming out. So I'm gonna have to walk the row and find out what the problem is. We found the reason, it was Jake's row and we think Jake was standing on it. No, I'm just kidding. I think it was kinked underneath. We just walked through and tugged on it a little bit and then water started. So I wanted to share something with you guys. So at the same time, we are watering over 50,000 vegetable plants. Yeah, you heard that right. 50,000 oh and once we get everything hooked up that number will probably go up to over a hundred thousand so at this time though we're watering just 50,000 which when I stop and think about that 50,000 vegetable plants it's a crazy number we're up here looking at this filter it seems to be doing its job pressure gauge is working all right done with irrigation for the day we're back at the farm we just closed up the store and uh, I don't know if you can see over there it's pretty dark. I think it's gonna rain. After all that work we did in 90 degree weather all day, it's gonna rain. But that's okay, it needed to be done anyway. Well anyway guys, I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye